Hello everyone, this is Militus. The impact of sanctions imposed on Russia has continued to develop. According to AP, demonstrations have erupted in several European countries in recent days. Protesters are taking to the street to protest showing fuel price. In Spain, 150,000 citizens marched through Madrid claiming that costs continue to rise or we are wretches on the way to extinction. In Germany, talkers are protesting on the street of Berlin, Brandenburg, and Hamburg, declaring systematically relevant talkers in the fair diesel prices. These are ripped off without us. This country will be on the ground. In Greece, protesters are blocking traffic in central Athens, demanding that the government respond to high energy costs. On Twitter, European nations also pour out their grievances. We are facing fewer poverty on an unprecedented scale. Very disturbing. I have a feeling it will get much more worse. Quite scary. Consequences of these silly sanctions should have been well thought of. Can Europe count on the US, which urged the sanction against Russia in the first place? I'm afraid not. According to Politico on March 21st, the European energy crisis will be a central topic during President Joe Biden's European trip, which began this week. Although EU officials have pressed the Biden administration to ramp up US productions and exports, but the Biden administration contends there's little it can do immediately. Political report that the EU is seeking to cut their import of natural gas from Russia by two-thirds this year, a gap that US exports can't make up. The US is rich in oil and gas resources, but the Biden administration can't get profit seeking private oil and gas companies to follow the White House political correctness. And US companies that are currently operating at full capacity can't turn up new energy supplies overnight. Europe may want to look back all along in the past time. How many times have the United States caught the trouble and Europe paid the bill? And this is Vilitas. See you next time.